this book belongs to me. Hello, journal. Is it okay if I call you that? It's a bit formal, I know. But we've only just met. Let me introduce myself. I'm Isabel Barbara Cook. Most people call me Izzy, not Dad. He calls me Titch. He's such a numpty head. My little brother Ben calls me Isbo. I call him he who chews curtains. He likes red for breakfast and blue for dinner. <laughs> and then there's My top tea drinking buddy. Ah! I go get my tea and this. Is Pinky. I think she's jealous of you, Journal. Today's my birthday. Dad made his best cake. Mum and Gran started the singing. Ben gurgled along. I blew out the candles. made a wish. Since I was little, I've always dreamed of becoming a writer. This is where you come in, journal. A writer writes. No one ever got anything just by wanting it.
I guess that birthday wish was a waste then. Bran said writing is about exploring your thoughts. It helps you unlock your feelings. about my height. Or about my writing. I want to write a story, but what kind? A romance? Science fiction? A comedy? A drama? Fairy tales? Wait, we're getting somewhere. A fantasy story. So, how do I start my fantasy story? Once upon a time. Ugh, no one said this would be easy. Again. From the top. Not so far away. In the land of... Astoria. A place of peace and magic. There lived a girl named... Everyone knew her by the bright color. Of her green dress, she was ready to begin her adventure. In fact, she'd been preparing for it her whole life, for she was the only apprentice of the village guardian Ava. Everyone was very fond of Grace. Her heart was full of curiosity and compassion. The villagers agreed that no one was... Suddenly, a faint speck of light floated down and began to buzz around Grace. Hello, little firefly. Did you come for my birthday? Oh, Elder Ava's gonna be so happy. Let's head 
went back to the village. The firefly shared Grace's excitement. I was studying before you showed up, Firefly. We should pick up my books on the way back. I sometimes forget where I put stuff. Especially when I'm lost in a book. This book was about a pirate queen. Such an exciting life. This one's about ancient lands. Maybe we'll go there, Firefly. was about the history of spoons. A little boring. Come on, Firefly! The village is just a bit further down. What? I love doing that. The bridge was an old, creaky affair. Careful, Grace. Careful. Grace imagined shark fins circling below. Phew! We made it, Firefly! And... Down! Grace knew many secret paths back to the village. Like this one! She loved feeling the roots around her, as if the tree was giving her a gentle hug. Nearly there, Firefly. Just one more little slide. Here we go! The old cargo lift, barely used. Her own secret entrance to the village above. Grace couldn't wait to learn more about fireflies. She'd get herself a book about her village's history. Look, Firefly. Happy birthday, Grace. I've made a new friend. One of our sacred fireflies. This is a very special thing indeed. Does this mean...? Yes, it is time. Would you fetch me that box, please? Ava was sure that Grace would rise to the occasion. Go ahead, open it. This will store all the magic words you find. Some will stay with you, others are fleeting. They will help you overcome any obstacle. Now, your training is complete. Congratulations, new guardian of the fireflies. Guardian? But that's you. Guardian in retirement now. 
You should head to the Shrine Tree for the other Firefly's blessing. I'll join you shortly, dear. Oh, before I forget, a little something of mine to mark the occasion. Elder Ava reached inside her pocket and handed Grace a gift. Ava's favorite pendant, set with a giant... Emerald! Now, off you go. I'm so proud of you, Grace. Wait to try out my magic book. And all at once, Grace was surrounded by the hustle and bustle of village life. Why do we have to be on cargo duty all the time? Oh, the back's aching just looking at it. Grace loved throwing stones over the rooftops, but not today. Look, Grace has the book. <gasps> ah, missed. Today, the Firefly Shrine was waiting. She looked over her bustling treetop village. I heard you had a bit of leaf mold. This was all she knew. Yeah, Elder Bassus gave me a poultice. Did it work? Cleared it right And up. it was home. Looks better than ever. Smell that. That's the scent of paradise. I can always use more paradise. Take ten. But inside, she was still curious. Hey, Grace! Happy birthday! No, you can't have a magic book. Good to see you, Grace. But Grace has one. Well, that's different. She's special. But you say I'm special. Careful, careful. No need to rush. About the world that lay beyond. Seen that book for a while, Grace. You off to see the fireflies. Let me get the gate. Ah, blast. Grace couldn't wait. 
wait to see the fireflies. Soon they bless her as new village guardian. What's being guardian going to be like, Firefly? to adventure. Perfect. Grace crawled through the dank, dark tunnel. It didn't feel like being hugged at all. No challenge to her now. Whee! The sacred bell to announce her arrival. the fireflies, whose ancient energy kept the village safe from harm. Go on. Show them what you can do. Use your word magic to get to the fireflies. That's it! They're accepting their new guardian. At last, I can get a lion. Glowing light surrounded her. A timeless energy that birthed stars and forged suns. Now she was part of it. Forever. And so Grace became the new Firefly Guardian, but her biggest adventure was yet to come. <laughs>